Hey, Melissa from Girl Gone Fishing. Welcome back. I am back out on the lake and looking for some big bass again. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start today. It was a really stormy morning and I just didn't feel like dealing with like the constant rain and intermittent thunder showers. So I stayed home and worked on some video footage and now I'm out ready to catch some bass. I'm gonna start with the Z-Man Jackhammer Evergreen Chatterbait in chartreuse and white. And I've got a Kitec four inch Easy Shiner trailer. This one is pearl blue with red, I think. Um, it's my favorite setup right now. You can fish it slow along the bottom, fast along the top, or jerk, jerk, fall, jerk, jerk, fall, whatever you need in the water column. So the part of the lake I'm fishing right now is pretty shallow. It's like a big shallow flat with a lot of grass. It was covered by the mat most of the summer, but the mat has kind of dispersed and I'm gonna see if I can get the chatterbait to go through it. If that doesn't work out, I'm gonna try to get some of the deeper submerged wood, like super slow reeling the chatterbait, see how that works. You do risk losing your chatterbait, but a big fish would be worth it. Worth it. So let's see how this works out. Got another freaking catfish on the chatterbait. You know, you, you get that moment where you think that it's a really good bass, and then you realize you've got to deal with this big slimy thing. <laughs> All right, let's set the big catfish free. cutest baby turtle ever. <gasps> Can you guys see this? It's the tiniest baby turtle ever. Always so far from shore. Is he supposed to be that far from shore? Oh, I don't like this. I think I should go help him get closer to shore. I'm going to gently encourage the little baby turtle back towards shore. Probably getting dizzy. Oh my gosh, is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Hey, buddy. Oh, look at him. I just caught a huge fish on the shatter bait. It's in the net got to take care of it but I'm so glad I had this camera here to at least get a good shot of this amazing fish. I seriously can't believe the size of this thing. Look at it. Fish 
fish happy and safe. Okay, I got the phone ready. Got the board wet, ready for the fish. Got the net in place. Paddle up here to prop the board up a little bit. Okay, God, don't screw this up. He's 21 inches. <laughs> I got the pictures though. I got the pictures. Oh my God. I got the pictures. <laughs> wow, that was the biggest fish I've ever caught in Ohio. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, I wish I could tell how much that thing weighed, but it was 21 inches. Uh, my previous Ohio record was 20 and a half inches. So wow, that was so cool. But since I'd caught that catfish earlier today, I was convinced that bass was a catfish when I hooked it and I was kind of dragging it like along the bottom. And I caught it right in the spot where I caught a catfish last week here. So I didn't think it was a bass at all until it jumped. And then boy, did my heart kick into gear and I started completely freaking out like, come on, like get it in the net, just get it in the net. So first thing I do after a big fish like that is retie my lure. So I'm gonna cut it off and I'm going to go past any point where it might've been frayed. I feel a couple little nicks. I'm just gonna cut that off, throw that away and retie my chatterbait. better safe than sorry. Um, I put a lot of pressure on that line more than I normally do because I honestly did think it was a, a catfish and I normally don't trust the line at all um, but I'm using 15 pound line right now and you know we know that wasn't a 15 pound bass so I let it like you know I, I pulled against it a little more than I usually do and it didn't break so I'm really excited. <laughs> I mean my knot worked, my line worked. trying to fish really, really slow with the chatterbait kind of dragging along the bottom with just little bursts of movement. And my, I've got so much adrenaline and my heart's pumping right now after that fish that it's kind of hard to go slow. same area that I just caught that fish on the chatterbait with the 3XD. It's not quite reaching. 
from the bottom, but I thought maybe I would try going through here with a different look. But I can't wait until I get my replacement St. Croix Avid X rod in the mail. Um, maybe a couple months ago, I snapped my Avid X in half trying to get a lure back and contacted customer service about their lifetime warranty. And so for $50, they're sending me a brand new rod. So they said it would be a little while because of COVID and the demand for fishing equipment, but it's in process and I'm really excited when I get it. I think I'll switch from having two casting and two spinning to three casting and one spinning on my boat. It's amazing how fast that's changed. Just like last year, I really wasn't comfortable with the bait caster much at all and now I actually prefer it over the spinning rod for everything except for like finesse applications. It's amazing when you get less stubborn and actually practice and try. <laughs> Well, I feel like I've beat everything up pretty well with my chatterbait and my 3XD crankbait. So I'm gonna move on to different areas and I'm gonna finish up with my Texas rig worm to submerge trees. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can add a couple more before I have to go. As long as the hook point here stays skin hooked like this, you pull it forward and then release it and the hook will go just under the plastic skin there. It makes it very weedless and it comes through the branches pretty well. So what I have right here is a bunch of trees underwater with branches that are coming up. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing my Texas rig at different places in the trees and I'm letting it fall all the way to the bottom, let it sit there for just a second, and then I'm jerking it up and then letting it fall back down. With each jerk, I don't want to pull it too far out of the tree. I'd like it to, to go up and down in the tree as many times as I can, maybe trigger a basta bite that's hanging out on the branches. Well, I have to wrap it up for the day. That's all the time I have. I did get that 21 inch bass and uh, got to rescue or play with a little tiny baby turtle. It's probably something eating the tiny little baby turtle I just put over there. Uh, I wish I could have caught more, but I did get the one really big one, so I'm really happy with that. Plus that catfish, bonus catfish. So, like always, gonna try again and hopefully get some more big bats. So, see you out on the lake on the next one.